Okay, so let's talk about fascia and how it relates to yin yoga practice. First, I want to explain my goal in this presentation, which is to change how we think about our bodies and what they are. And also to update our ideas about how they look inside and how they work. And I think this is really important because we all think about our bodies in ways that are culturally conditioned. Like we think that our bodies are often uh, failing us or doing something wrong. And my experience after practicing yoga for 20 years and specifically yin yoga for 10 years is that our bodies are not actually an enemy or something separate from us. So even that statement that we think our bodies are failing us implies that our body is separate from us. So um, I feel very passionate about this, that it's important to, to change the way we think of our bodies. And I think learning about fascia is going to help us do that. The second part of my goal in updating our ideas about how the body looks on the inside is in, uh, a natural evolute of research that's been done on the um, inner space. I, I want to use that term and I was just thinking of Gil Headley who calls himself a somanaut, you know like an astronaut is someone who goes out into outer space and explores and then reports back. Um, there's some one amazing teacher, PhD, named Gil Headley, who calls himself a soma knot because he works on going to the inner space of the body, exploring and then reporting back. And he actually does dissections of cadavers. You can see on his website and YouTube channel pictures of what fascia looks like. Um, one of the most interesting ones that I saw recently was a piece of... Um, superficial fascia it's called so just underneath the skin and it has lots of fat in it so you pull it he pulls it out he dissects it and it looks very yellow there's blood in it too so it's kind of red and then they take out I don't know what they do but they take out all the fat and they rinse it it's almost like a sponge you know imagine you were to take a sponge and wash out a pan after you um, pancakes in it with coconut oil the sponge would be filled with all this coconut oil some fat and then if you soaked it in really hot soapy water um, and really wrung it out and then you'd get the sponge and it would look its original color wouldn't have the fat inside well that's what the fascia looks like without the fat in it and so you should go to his website and look at this image of what the fascia looks like without the fat in it and um, so I'm bringing this up about Gil Headley and exploring inner space because who would have known that that's actually what our bodies look like? We've, most of us have been taught that the bodies look like bone, muscle, organs, um, nerves. So we have this picture, a very mechanical and actually quite outdated picture of what the body looks like. What we're now finding is that the body looks like these sponges, which is called what we're calling the fascia, and then fat and muscle, what we think of, you know, if you think of what fat might look like and what you think of what muscle might look like, it's all almost superimposed or saturating all of these sponges. So this is the exciting topic we get to talk about today. Um, and how changing how we think about our bodies and what they are and updating our ideas about how the body looks on the inside can totally change how we do our yoga practice. It can totally change how we sit when we're at our computer. It can really blow open our minds as to who we are and our capacity for healing. So I hope you um, continue to watch because this is really awesome stuff.